Okay, in this phase of syrup making, there's some foam that forms on the top of the boiling sap. It's perfectly normal. And uh, I just like to skim it off with this slotted kitchen spoon, just so that I can have a little bit better idea of what's going on in the pan. I can see the bottom of it. It wouldn't hurt anything if I left it in there. Just I can see better with it gone. And you get little bits of dirt and tree bark and dust and whatever in the foam. It gets caught in the foam. It's another way you can keep your syrup a little bit cleaner. Okay, YouTube, I wanted to show you what this pan looks like when it's running at a full boil. In some of the other videos, if you've been actually looking in the pan, you haven't really seen it nearly this active. That's because we do some of the other filming when I don't have the pan this hot. Things can happen fast at this boil rate, so we try to be on the safe side and do the videos when we're not running this hot. Okay, now get a good shot of this pan. See how this is foaming violently in these couple partitions here? And we need to slow this boil down on this end. We need to break some of the surface tension in that piece of the pan. So, this is just a little bit of uns unsalted, great value butter, right straight from Walmart. Watch that pan. See the bubbles start getting bigger? See them diminish? It doesn't take much, just a little bit. Settle that pan right down. That's a trick that the defoamer companies don't want you to know about. I just assume you use butter. I put butter on my pancakes and waffles anyway, so a little bit more maple syrup isn't going to hurt anything. Okay guys, if you're enjoying these videos, please hit the thumbs up button down below here and leave me a comment, subscribe to the channel, That I'd really appreciate that. Thanks.